Hey, what's up gamers? This is Skeletonistic. I am here today at my Red Barn Farm in my, I have to admit, kind of grubby gardening clothes to bring you a video about the new Ultra Seeds. I want to see, I've been curious since they've come out, as to what it is that they actually drop. So what I've done here is made a bed of three each for each type of seed. And I'll show you what I mean by that. I have three of each of the new Ultra Seeds, each type of them. And I'll go ahead and plant them and take care of them from beginning to maturity. And I'm going to do a kind of time lapse video where I record each day what it is that they drop in between and what it is that they drop as an elder. So we get a full list and a full idea of what each of these Ultras, which are supposed to be better than the regular seeds, actually drop. So I'm going to go ahead and get started now, and the first thing I'm going to do is plant in these seeds. Now I know you guys know what planting seeds looks like, so I'm going to be right back after each of these is planted. Alright, I will be right back. I am back. I have planted every Ultra Seed that I know of except for Ultra Baby Carrots. Now, these seeds are going to mature at different rates because I've mixed all the seeds in there and some of them have dislikes of some of the other seeds. So they'll mature a little bit slower. This video isn't really about how fast I can make them mature, but what they actually drop once they do drop something. So I kind of mix them in, mostly because the amount of energy it would take to, to grow a different plot of each thing everywhere is just huge. And I want to try to compact this all into as short a video as I can while showing you as much information as I can. So some of these, these, these seeds are all, uh, they're all together each in their own stack, but some of them dislike some of the others and some of them like some of the others, so they're going to have different maturation rates. Anyhow, as this whole bed matures, I'm going to make sure that I record each drop to see what these seeds are going to drop for us. Alright, so this is going to be an ongoing project. I will be back the first time I have some harvesting. And I am back for day two of my Ultra Seed Garden. I've put uh, those long 96 hour <clears throat> pest control spells on the plants. Just, just to, <laughs> so I don't have to do it every day. Because I have plenty of them and it just seems like it's a, a wise investment to spend the energy on something that's going to last three or four days. You know, that kind of thing. So I've got a bunch of, <laughs> as you can see, dragonflies and lightning bolts and all kinds of things going on down here. I haven't collected any drops yet, but it looks like they're getting there. The Ultra Boom Shrooms have already got their little glowy thing going around them, which means they're getting closer to mature than anything else. But none of this other stuff is quite yet enough mature to get its little, its little <laughs> for lack of a better way of putting it, its little glowy shields around it. Anyhow, I'm going to keep you apprised as the days go on as to what it is these things drop and as they mature, you know, I'll, I'll let you keep an eye on them with me. Alright, so I will be right back with the next day. And I am back. It is day three for the garden and some things are actually ready for their first harvests. The alligator pear trees, the ultra ones that I planted. I planted these just a little bit earlier than this main patch, maybe half a day or so. And so they're ready for their first harvest. And as well, as usual, the boom shrooms are really fast growing and they're ready for their first harvest. So let's see what it is that these ultras are going to give us. Give me the boom treasure card, chow chow chow, whatever that is, and a flawless paradox. Touch of magic, tornado, flawless arms. No touch of magic. Which is awesome. I love those. <laughs> I'm glad they gave me these power treasure cards again. Because whenever you're growing a, a, a multi plant garden like this, you really need to have those uh, do all magic or do all flood, you know, do all water, do all bug control, whatever. All those different spells because there's so many different beds that I have here that I would never. Well, not never, but it would be a strain for me to have enough energy to do three separate beds. Anyway, let me go on and see what the alligator pear trees are going to get. Nice sunset, that's awesome. And it gave another seed, a regular, a regular alligator pear tree. 
Stop the time. Special cards for the little kebab. So that's... That's a lower level mega snack. But yeah, mega snack. So it's 20. Alright. And... Crockish coffee. Never heard of it. Another 20. So it's given like 20 experience treasure cards. Sunstone, a little kebab, a bee swarm. A little kebab, and you can scroll. I think that, that touch of magic is only a small area. I was thinking it was a mass card, but it's a. Uh, it's only a small area card. Coffee Town Treasure Card, Crockish Coffee, and Sunstone. Hey, they're giving Sunstones. You can't complain about that. I imagine the really good rewards are going to be coming. I imagine the really good rewards are going, are, are going to be coming when they hit mature, so. I'm really kind of anxiously looking forward to that. Alright, guys, that is day three. And what was harvested on day three? I will be back on day four to see if any of this other stuff has matured and see what else we've got going on. Alright, I will be back for day four. Welcome back to day four of the Ultra Seed Garden. As you can see, we've got some needs to take care of. And those boom shrooms are just as fast to mature in Ultra as they are in regular. So we're going to be harvesting some mature plants today to see what those Ultra boom shrooms give us. Let's see, I've got sun and music and magic. And one. Oh, okay. There's my... Sun, music, magic, and I think one power nation. Not just two power nations. Alright, so let me go ahead and do those. I'm just going to do those the easy way. I'm going to use TCs and get them all done at the same time. Because I used the large area pest control last time, it doesn't look like any of them are suffering from pest. Don't worry about that. All right, let's go first. Oh, I've got dandelions from mature too. That's nice. Okay, ultra boom shoes. This is the rewards you're gonna get. Furnace, a valley leaf, and a boom shoe. A regular boom shoe. Gold magic, a valley leaf, and fiery boom shoe. Gold magic. And small normal planter. That's kind of cool. See, there's a new one. Okay. The ultra dandelions are going to give B team treasure card, nickel, and orange dandelion. Cool. Let me get over closer to it. Okay, we're having a glitch out, even though those are, those are mature, so I will be right back and reset the garden, <laughs> reset the house anyway, I guess. Those should be collecting, but they're not. I will be right back. Okay, I am back. I basically, I just had to quit the game and restart it to get these to uh, be ready to harvest. So here we go, the second Ultra Dandelion. Stormzilla, Nickel, and Orange Dandelion card, or Orange Dandelion Seed, I'm sorry. Arctic Zilla treasure card, cobalt, and pink dandelion. And if I remember right, pink dandelion is one of those cards you, or seeds that you need to craft the new seed vault anyway. So I'm gonna hang on to that one. Cobalt. Okay. And it looks like my snapdragons are also ready. Ultra snap. Streaming sunlight. Pyrite and Ultra Snapdragon. So that one gives an Ultra card back, or an Ultra Seed back. That's nice. <laughs> and same thing again. It gave me prizes and now it's glitched out. I will be right back again. Okay, back again with the fourth day. It seems like the collecting of these seeds sets off some kind of a glitch because that's the second time that. I collected some ultra seeds, or mature ultra seeds, and it only just stopped around me to collect. So let's see if it keeps doing it or not. I'm going to go ahead and finish collecting these ultra snapdragons. And I get... Mass Fire Prism, which is cool. Pyrite, Burning Snapdragon, and... 
Regal Dragon Statue is interesting. I like how these things are dropping a lot more housing on Let's see what else we got here. Oh, it did it again, see what I mean? So there's, there is some kind of a glitch attached to this because now it's not wanting to allow me to put that last snap right. <laughs> I'll be back for the fourth time. Hang on, one moment. And I am back yet again. I don't know if it's the garden, if it's my computer, it's the day, if it's all the action going on or what, but this thing keeps glitching whenever I go to collect seeds. It'll collect a seed, but then it won't let me collect anything else. So let me get this one again. Malastare, Malastare treasure card? Really? Huh. Interesting. That's kind of neat. A Malastare treasure card. Crazy. I wonder if it summons Malastare. That would be too funny. A Pyrite sliver and a Maelstrom Snapdragon Seed. Now, I don't have anything else in this part of the Ultra Garden yet that's mature. So I'm going to go ahead over here to the Alligator Pear Trees, which are not mature, but they're, they're still ready to drop. So let's see if we do this. Crocochet, Crocosh Coffee, Black Pearl, and an Alligator Pear Tree. A regular old Alligator Pear Tree. Two, four, six, seven. That one has seven. Bee Swarm, Crocloba, <laughs> and Golden Pearl. Crocloba. That's interesting. <laughs> I like that. Croc and Common, Treasure Card, Alligator Pear, Ancient Scroll. Wow, look at the size of that freaking snack. Woo! 15, 17, 19, 21. Nice. That's a nice snack. Okay, it's all generally in the same vein. Croc and Common, Alligator Pear, Black Pearl. I bet they gave something really cool also. Or at mature. Cocaine, Kalua, Kebab, Black Pearl. Kalua, Kebab. <laughs> Here. Uh, swim, blue kebab, and so they're like generally the same thing. Now I'm not going to co collect this snapdragon just yet because it's one of the likes for the alligator pears. I'm going to wait on that. And I do believe that I'll wait on my evil magnet piece for now. I'm hoping they have a seed bonus pretty soon where I can double up on my magnet piece. I'm going to wait on those two. And besides which, they're not really ultra seeds, though. <laughs> not really part of this video. They just happen to be here, so I thought I would mention them. Okay, guys, that's what I got in day four. So far, these seeds, which were supposedly hard to take care of, don't seem like they're that hard to take care of at all. And they're quite, quite nicely, brightly colored. I like the second springs on these just to have the, the flashy colors going on like it's like behind me right now. It's a pretty cool light show. All right, guys, this is it for day four. I will be back with day five to see what's ready to go as far as the harvest goes and see what else we're going to get. And here we are with day five of the Ultra Garden Seed Plot. Let me tell you, day five is quite, quite busy. It's <laughs> cacophony back there. Elephants and crunching and bees and bugs and wow, and trumpets. Wow. Anyway, let me go ahead and take care of these pests real quick, and we will see if there's anything available to drop this time. I'm just going to go ahead and, and do a blanket spell on everything here, just to make sure I've got it all. <laughs> got my bird squad in. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Now, we've got them all. It looks like all of them are ready for at least some kind of harvest. So I'm going to go ahead and go with the alligator pear trees first, and we're going to see what we get. Soul Sapper Treasure Card, Alligator Pear, and Spring. That's, that's nice. I like this. It's harder to get reagents. That's good. Another Spring. So if you guys are ever shopping for Springs, this is where you can do This is where you can get them at. Ancient Scroll, Crocodile, Crocodile Chip Treasure Card. Soul Sapper, Crocodile Coffee, Ancient Scroll. Cool. Crocomonies, Crocus Coffee, Black Pearl. So yeah, they go for all these higher end reagents. I can't wait to see what this thing gives. Oh, there's something. That's nice. 
I can't really see if these things get really hit. They're uh, over. Alright. Let me go over here. We got everything making this time. Let's go with the ultra trumpet vines first. Clockwork Spider Street Pizza. Perfect system. Giant Spider. Pixie Sticks. Perfect open. So these guys know with the big dollar reagents as well as it seems like in the, pond, the Clockwork Spiders. Chow, chow, chow. Perfect on Fish on a vine. So they give you a different thing. Totally different plant off those trumpet vines. Ultra fly trap, yeah. Wolf Bane tea. I've never heard of that one before. Let's look at the look at It's a 22 mega snap. A life one. Four. Five more draconian or draxid or draconian draconian. Spring boil spider legs. One more time. Five more manner. Push of wet candy and spring. We're getting a lot of springs this way. To the Ultra Tiger Lilies. Warming Rays, which is a gardening card. Catfish Stevens, okay. And Golden Pearl. Mid Shield, Fighter Sporting Cup. Never heard that one either. This is 25, nice. And Black Pearl. Storm Shield, Tower Shield Cards. All kinds of new snacks. And an ancient scroll. Alright. They may not be new, but they're new to me if they're not new. So, new enough. Ultra huckleberries. We're gonna get another spring. They're pounding springs out here. And berry pound cake. Dragonberry, sniper, water lily. Okay, so these are gonna be I guess because they're lower end snacks in the first they're lower end snacks in the first place. They're going to kind of give a little bit lower end treasure. Lower end rocks, I mean. Strong, great berry cobbler, and fire blossom. That's an eight that gives. What is Like 20. Five? And fire blossom. Alright, that's the huckleberry. Let's do the fig, uh, the fig trees. The ultra ninja fig. We get. <laughs> Only no jade treasure card. Ninja Piggy Pudding and a diamond. Nice. Another Oni No Death, a pixie stick, and a nightshade. The pixie stick's a nice little fiber, I do What's that? 15? That's, that's a 30. Nice. Ooh. And a nightshade. For the other one, another Oni No Jade, a Ninja Fig Bars, and Light Jade. Those are 15s, okay. So let's go to the front and do those. Everybody's been wondering about these snow apples, so let's see what these, let's see what these give next. Yeah. Berserk Treasure Cards, a Wormy Apple, and a Spring. Infallible, which is nice. So there's, there's a nice piece of infallible. Crunch apple and amber. Notice that, guys. Amber off the snow apple. And aquamarine this time. Berserk and wormy apple. All right. I got, I got the ultra king parsley gives us storm trap, king parsley soup, and ether. Bug bolt, peanut butterflies, another amber. They get amber off those, give amber too. And it gave a star chalice housing item. You need the star chalice for regular king parsleys, I do believe this. Throw into a life trap, sprightly soda, black pearl, and it gave an ultra king parsley back. That's cool. That one gave an ultra back. That's the first one I've seen that gives an ultra back. Or the first one I remember at least. Alright, what we got here? Ultra Hilton Ears. Myth Blade, a rhubarb, a rhubarb Wire, and Black Pearl. So 
that was a 25 as well. There's a bunch of Mega Snacks in these things. Alright. Bronco Burger, Black Pearl, and Miss Blade. Another 25 snack and a black pearl, a black red treasure card. I think I've got one more bunch of seeds here, but I can't tell for sure. Nope, that's it. That's all of them. Okay, guys, so that's the daily five rewards for what we got here. Good to know. I cannot wait the day that these things make their elder level because they, they got a wow <laughs> that's got to be a huge reward all right guys that is it for day five all right we've gotten to the end of day five and i'm seeing this video evolving into a little bit longer of a project than i first envisioned it to be so i'm going to split this up into a couple of parts and this is going to be the end of this part and i'll start the next one the next day and we'll keep on going until all these seeds have reached elder Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Maybe leave me a comment about other games or other series or any other thing you want to see me do. If you'd like, leave a comment or talk to me, ask me questions, or just shoot the breeze. I'd love to talk to you guys back. This is Skella Mystic reminding you that whatever else you do, always love the game. Peace! Hey, what's up gamers? This is Skella Mystic. Welcome back to part two, day six of the Ultra Seed Garden Drops video. I've got a <laughs> huge pile of of very active plants back there. I've gone ahead and done the taking care of the maintenance of them. And we're going to go ahead and, and uh, get them harvested now.